Mr. Heffern here, and here's a video on how to create a PDF file or a, um, a, a document that has all of your pictures in it to submit your work for uh, D2L or Google Classroom. So uh, first of all, we have to take a picture of our work. Okay, so here we are, ready to take a picture of um, some of our work. So you just get your camera, find a nice um, place where you're not going to cause a shadow. That's why I'm not taking a picture on my desk or on my table. Um, so I take a picture. Okay, maybe turn the, the flash on or off, depends. Uh, switch to my next document. Now I find this is a lot easier to do if I use a, a paper, sorry, a, um, a clipboard. There we go. Or you could just use a book um, and stand something up against the book. And that would also work. There we go. And we got our last picture. So the way I've done this, there's no shadows coming in. Um, my hand's not causing a shadow like it would, like right here, because I'm far enough back and I'm not uh, facing down <clears throat> towards the desk or our table. So now that we have the pictures, uh, we're ready to uh, send them. So what we're going to do is go to our phone gallery. And we're going to go to, uh, to the camera and we're going to select the three pictures we just did. Okay. And then we're going to hit the share button. And now that we've got the share button selected, we're going to choose, uh, to send it by Gmail to ourselves. Okay. And so now all we have to do is send it from our, ourself to ourself. There we go. Hit send. And now uh, the pictures will, should be in my Gmail. Okay, so now I have checked my email. Uh, here in my email, I have the three pictures. They have arrived. So here's my uh, three separate pictures. Now, I don't want to submit three separate pictures to my teacher or professor. I want to submit them as a single document so that it's easier to mark and it's uh, a little less infuriating. Okay. So uh, that's what we're going to do is we're going to download all three of these pictures. Now we have a choice. We can either uh, do this in Google Docs or in Microsoft Word. So let's try Microsoft Word first. So here's Microsoft Word. Um, it's going to set the margins to be narrow. It's just a little bit more space. And what I do is I put in a character like a period or um, a happy face and just to have a spacer temporarily. And I'm going to add another one down here. There we go. So that way I just have a place to put my pictures for now. So I'm going to go insert uh, pictures and I'm going to go to my um, downloads folder where I downloaded the uh, pictures to. There it is. Okay. And I'm going to select my, uh, my first picture. There we go. So there's my uh, first picture. And uh, what I can do is I can um, change it to be behind text like this. And it's just a little easier to move around. So that fits on the first page. I guess I'm going to click down here and um, maybe go control enter to make a new page. Okay. And now that I'm down here, I'm going to uh, do the same kind of thing. Now, the other thing you can do in Microsoft Word too is you can, uh, you can crop your pictures. So I'm going to um, size and position. No, that's not it. Oh, here we go. Crop showed up when I right clicked. So I'm just going to uh, maybe get rid of the clipboard there. There we go. Uh, maybe just come over a little bit here as well. Okay. And just a little bit there. And then I'm going to uh, select the side. And there we go. I've got a cropped picture so it doesn't show the clipboard. So now uh, down here, I'm going to insert my next picture. Okay. And uh, you can see it's not that clear. I could crop that one if I wanted to as well. Go control enter again, uh, come back up here and grab my last picture. So I'm just going to grab that one. There we go. And now this is where I might actually delete uh, those extra characters. Okay, or I'll maybe keep that one. I'm just going to crop this picture too. Just uh, right click, just choose crop. There we go. Just get rid of. Um, some of that, click, and now I got a place uh, to bring up my 
My little happy face. There we go. Okay. Oh, come on. Happy face. You can move up. Okay, there we go. That's better. So now I've got uh, a three-page document. Uh, so all I have to do is just save the document. So save as. Um, let me throw this on the desktop. My work. Okay. It'll save it. And then if I want, I can save it as a PDF as well. So I can go save as also to the desktop and change the type to a PDF file and hit save. When you do this, it'll often also load it in um, Acrobat uh, Reader as well. Okay, I'm just going to close that and I'm going to close the Microsoft Word document. Now that I've done that, I could submit that. So if I was a, um, a student here, I could go to the Dropbox. Okay, and what I can do then at this point in time is um, add a file, go to my uh, computer, go to upload, go to the desktop. Here's my work PDF and my work .docx. Now, if you submit the Microsoft Word document, it's easier for the teacher to write comments and provide feedback. Uh, if you provide it as a PDF, it's a little bit more difficult. Okay, and then you can submit it. Now, what if you don't want to use Microsoft Word? Uh, what if you want to use Google Docs instead? So in that case, uh, prepare a Google document. So uh, my work again, there we go. And what you can do is you can go to your mail where you submitted the pictures and you can drag them right over to your uh, Google Doc and um, it'll bring them right over for you. And if that doesn't work, uh, you can work around that. So uh, what you could do is okay. let's get rid of this. So if that's not working for you, uh, what you can do instead is uh, download them to your device or put them into your Google Drive. So I'll just put them into my Google Drive. There we go. All right, and then from my Google Drive, uh, I can find those pictures and I can try dragging them into my Google Doc from there. So okay, let's just try that. Come on, you can do it. Okay, if I insert image from my drive, there we go. Maybe this will work easier. All right, okay, good. I'm going to grab my image. All right. And then I can press enter, uh, grab the next image. Okay, uh, press enter again. And I can grab the, the last the last image. There we go. All right. Uh, now I have all the, the, um, the work in a single document. What I could do is just share the Google Doc. Um, if I really, really want to though, uh, what I can do is uh, go file. Uh, download as a Microsoft Word document or as a PDF. So I'll just download it as a PDF and it'll go to my uh, downloads folder. And then uh, when I submit over here in uh, D2L, I can um, add that file from my uh, downloads folder. So I'm just going to go to uh, my downloads folder. There we go, downloads. And there's my work again, PDF. Submit that. Just add that in. Or, um, I can probably just add it directly from my from my Google Drive. So all I do is just click on the Google Drive there and then go find this particular document from uh, my work again. So let's see if I can find that. Oh, it's looking at the wrong uh, Gmail. Okay, that's why I can't find it. So um, there you go. Uh, that's if I was using my correct Gmail, this wouldn't be a problem. And there you go. So you can submit the document many different ways. Uh, if you're not using Cam Scanner, which cleans up the images, uh, this is another way of doing it. You can uh, you take pictures with your camera, or you can scan it if you have a scanner at home. And then uh, once you have all the images, you can uh, put them together in a single PDF and submit it to your teacher. All right. Thank you. I hope this helps.